What does this year's summit on the global agenda in the United Arab Emirates hold in store? First of all, it will be the third biggest brainstorming of over 700 experts debating over 70 important global issues. This meeting will allow them in a year-long process where they meet virtually over the whole year, get together and look in depth into the drivers, the outcomes of some of those global issues and even discuss what kind of solutions could be proposed to the participants of the annual meeting end of January in Davos. And why has the United Arab Emirates been chosen to host this meeting? First of all, for holding such a meeting, you really have to build a bridge between the East and West. And the United Arab Emirates have really shown to be such a bridge. Secondly, they have really been very leading in defining new visions on the way of creating uh, sustainable urban development, but also finding new solutions on the post-fossil uh, energy era. And li latest, they have been really very important in developing over-regionally or cross-regional service centers to really serve bigger areas than just their own region. You mentioned that this is one of the largest gatherings of the world's experts. Can you give a sense of uh, who these experts are and the issues that they'll be addressing? I mean, if you just look at them at a very macro, uh, macro level, you will see that 30% of them are leaders from the business world. So you will have CEOos of different companies. 30% 30, uh, 30 of them are actually leaders from the academic world, top-level professors, really leading experts in their area. 20% are from governments and international institutions and 10% from NGOs. It is very important for us that those debates are not just limited to academic representatives, but really going in a multi-stakeholder approach, touching all the different groups of society who at the end will have to deal and also live with the solution which could be proposed. Topics will be very far-reaching from things like the impact of aging throughout the world, chronic diseases, if you know that over 60% of people die today of chronic diseases and the importance they have, especially also in the developing world, to questions on fiscal crisis, as we have seen in Europe, to questions like uh, the monetary systems, to questions like climate change, um, catastrophic risks. We have seen this here with the um, volcanic outbreak, how not very often happening, but very important, impactful events can have a very uh, deep going impact on what we are doing and so on. There will be over 70 topics, as I said. They will also look at innovation at uh, many regions. What is the future there? So I think we have a very important and far reaching palette of different things there that will be discussed.